Hello all, this is Amit and uh, Gori Bobby. We've been asked to share with all of you, uh, you know, moments or things from Move by Love Portal, but there's nothing like sharing something that's occurred, you know, in real life and it's truly come from the heart. And so, uh, you know, as Gori Bobby was, has always served as my muse, and, uh, you know, she, as soon as we were asked, something just kind of slipped into my mind and then, you know, the universe presented something to me and I was hoping to share it with all of you. And uh, so I'm going to turn it over to Parth and Parth is going to share uh, an incredibly moving story. Um, that was when I asked, what was the impetus? And if you could describe it in one word, he said, love. So it's 5.15. Friday morning, I'm at a Starbucks, and I've been up all night. <laughs> I got home real late, 3 a.m., took a shower, freshened up, talk, spoke to my roommate, and left again um, at the fear of waking him up a few hours later uh, when I usually do. So I thought, okay, let me be up and go to Starbucks and start my day and ease into it. And usually whenever my intuition says to do something, I just follow it. So I'm out at the counter, and there's a uh, patron next to me, woman, I'm in her 30s, and she's ordering, she's uh, getting, putting together a huge order. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, um, some donuts, and some bagels, and some co various kinds of coffee, and different brownies, you know, and it, uh, it piqued my curiosity. And she said to the gentleman behind the counter, oh, it's for the nurses at the hospital. And the hospital is Sloan Kettering Center for Cancer. And she said, the nurses have been doing such a great job. It's for them because they've been doing such a great job taking care of my dad. And in that moment, I was actually fiddling with my book bag. I was trying to take my book bag off and <laughs> um, so I could place my order and my watch gets stuck on the strap and it breaks and so I place my order and I sit down and her words are echoing in my ear. It's for the nurses who are doing such a great job taking care of my dad while I'm fiddling with my watch trying to fix it. And then I thought, here's an opportunity. Um, First, it was like, Parth, what are you doing? You're an idiot. <laughs> Did you just hear what happened? Um, and check in with yourself. What's there for you? And I thought, wow, if I were in that position, and my father was in the ER a month ago, um, and he couldn't speak for two days. And I went back to the counter, and I asked her, and I said, how's your dad doing? Like, is he okay? And um, she said, he slipped into a coma yesterday. And uh, my sister and I have been standing guard since yesterday afternoon. And we've been up all night. And uh, in that moment, all there was for me was just, there's no words, you know, just pure connection. And I sit back down and I think, and I look, dig through my pockets and talk to the counter guy. And I said, come over here. I said, I got her. Whatever, whatever it costs, you know, like I got her. And um, he goes back to the counter and talks to this to the woman, and the woman's about to pay. And the gentleman, you know, the, the gentleman says, "Oh, well, this other fellow, you know, he took care of you." And she said, "No, no, no, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that." <laughs> and he hands me back my money. Excuse me. And I just think, wait a second. Like I, I could take this and I could say, okay, well. I tried. And I said, there's no trying when it comes to love. <laughs> you just stand. So all you do is you just stand and you hold space. So I walk up to her and I said, look, your father just slipped into a coma. This is the last thing you should be thinking about. You need to just have space to just keep praying. Like, that's it. Keep praying. Like, don't worry about this. <laughs> it's taken care of. You just keep praying for your dad. And she just looks at me and she just starts busting out in tears. And, um, you know, and I said, let it out. And she was like, thank you. Thank you so much. I haven't cried like this in a long time. 
it's been a long time since I've let it out. And I said, I know, everyone needs a good cry every now and then. <laughs> you gotta, everyone needs a good cry, so let it out. And I put my arms out, and she, and we hug. And um, she's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm, I'm just holding space. And uh, we walk back to the counter station where we you know, can add the milk and the sugar and everything. And, you know, I have been, I kind of have this intuition about things and I looked at her and I said, so how's his condition? And he's been getting better. His blood pressure went down. There's some feeling coming back in his arms. No cognitive ability yet, but there's a little bit of motion. I looked at her and I said, he's gonna be okay. It's like, you know that, right? He's gonna be okay. She looks at me and she just balls out again. She's bawling and I'm bawling. We hug again, and um, you know, it's one of these life moments that you, you get to connect to another human being as a human being, and um, it was really precious. And she's thanking me, and I'm thanking her for the opportunity. I mean, when do you, at least in my life, when do I normally have an opportunity to connect to another human being it's, it's, you know, at such a fundamental level? And she says, um, the nurses thank you and this and that. And I said, what's your name? And her name is Christine. And she asked me my name. And I said, my name is Anon. <laughs> it's anonymous. It's short for anonymous. <laughs> she looks at me and she smiles. <laughs> I look at her back and I smile. <laughs> and I said, look, it's really, it doesn't really matter who I am. <laughs> let's, let's take a moment and let's pray for your dad that he, gets, that he continues to get better. She balls the head. <laughs> and, you know, we hug again. And. Um, just like thank you and you know, we should wish each other a good day um, and all of that occurred inside of a 20 minute window from like 520 till about 540 and it just made me think that that's all it takes um, I think it's the entertaining of intuitive thoughts that at least for me push the boundaries of my comfort zone and, um, just to enable me to love in ways that I can't predict or don't necessarily have to figure out. Thank you all. Um, I think you can understand why I wanted to share that with you and why Gary Bobby wanted to share that with you. Um, I think we should just take a moment of silence here and uh, really reflect on uh, parts, powerful moment, powerful story and uh, think to ourselves, you know, what's, what's moved us by love. Thank you.